Hello beautiful souls, it's Karen here, Soul Magic Inspiration, Star Trek Tarot. I don't normally do regular moon readings anymore, but I just felt guided to do this one, whether it's because it's my, my birthday month, I don't know. Um, so we're going to be looking at the new moon in Virgo, which is on the 2nd slash 3rd of September, uh, so not far away. Um, so this is for the collective, okay? Um, I've pre-shuffled some oracles and we are going to get some tarot as well for further clarification i just want to say a big thank you for your love and support really appreciate it um if any of you are going through anything right now um and you're not feeling great about where you're at the compassion key can help you um for all sorts you know whatever you're going through and i'm offering a half price hour session right now so all the details are down below so and also offering a 20 minute um discovery session uh, which is free if you want to connect with me there okay so this moon is about the new it's a time to formulate new goals um, that you have for yourself and a good time to transform a job your health a self-care routine change any habits a time of innovative and inventive ideas and a time for fresh starts, you know, with that new moon energy. Um, so a really good time for manifesting as well. Um, so get clear on what it is you want, you know, focus on what you do want. Um, maybe do a moon ritual or write down what you want to manifest or do a vision board. So let's look at the energies. So the first card out made me laugh. So we've got new beginnings straight away with Aries energy. So Aries energy is ruled by Mars, which is the action planet. And it's saying a leap of faith and the sun is going to come out. So if you take that leap of faith, if you take a chance with a new beginning, there's joy, there's happiness, the sun, you know, so your life could change and it just takes that leap of faith. And we've got the sun in Sagittarius, so a lot of happy times here and it's saying adventure, stride out into new territory. So a leap of faith can be that. Um, it can be leading us to a new adventure. So I feel by taking that leap of faith, you're you're getting into a new adventure, whatever that means for you. That could be work related. That could be love related. That could be travel related. We've got someone in Egypt. They're on a camel. It looks like Egypt, the, de the desert. So don't be afraid to take a chance. And we've got cancer, acceptance. So and 28, which is that 10, that one energy. An emotional, an emotional phase or domestic development. So cancer energy, you know, that emotional energy, that loving energy. So being in that self-acceptance, I feel, is really going to be powerful for you. Accepting yourself as you truly are, warts and all, nobody's perfect. And there could be some sort of change in your emotional life or, or your domestic life in some way as well. But it's been in that acceptance energy, accepting yourself and accepting others and not judging, you know, getting out of that judgment energy. And we've got the moon energy here. So Taurus and we've got the eclipse season coming up very soon. Self-esteem. Yeah, so stepping into that self-esteem and it's a one plus four, which is that five, that change. This is a time of personal growth. This is you stepping into your self-esteem, stepping into your self-worth. You've been through a lot. You know, the pearls are created with that friction, aren't they? From that hard time, from that difficult time. And a beautiful thing is created, that pearl. And you are that pearl. You know, you're, you've are you been created out of all the difficult times that you've been through. And, you know, value yourself and be proud of who you are. Yeah, we've got sun energy again, Pisces, higher purpose. Align yourself with love and wisdom. So stepping into your higher purpose maybe becoming aware of that what your higher purpose is what what you want to achieve in your life and connecting with that within you connecting with that and again that's bringing you um happiness and fulfillment and aquarius energy moon free spirit so tapping into that number five again so tapping into that free spiritedness that inner inner wild child awakens so connecting with your inner child being in that energy of the inner child, being in that energy 
when children are playing, they're in the moment. They're not thinking about the past. They're not thinking about the future. They're just in that moment. And that is how to be a free spirit. And I feel you're going to start tapping back into that, to be in the moment, to be present in the moment and just enjoy that. And that's really good for cutting down on anxiety because, you know, you're living in the now. So get those thoughts out of your head of the past and the future. Yeah, awakening energy. So, yeah, number 35, 8, your deeper resolve rises. So definitely awakening energy for a lot of people in the collective. Um, I've just done a reading on Pluto in Capricorn. So if you're interested, check that out. And um, I'm not sure if it's going to be uploaded before this one. Um, but, yeah, very powerful shifts in people, um, you know, and in the collective. So let's just clarify these energies with the tarot. Let's have a look. Why is the sun in Aries? What's this new beginning about for the highest light, love and truth? Wow. So we've got the death card. Yeah, the release, metamorphosis. So I feel a lot of you are releasing the past. You're releasing, you're doing healing, you're letting go, maybe letting go of control issues, letting go of what no longer serves you. You're going through that death and rebirth process. And that leads you to that new beginning. Yeah, and then we've got adventure. So what can you tell us about adventure for the highest light, love and truth? Wow, we've got awakening again. Wow. Sorry about that. We've got awakening again. So awakening to the truth of who you are. Awakening to maybe helping a third eye activation a crown activation just waking up to the truth of who you really are um you know who you are at the soul who you are at the essence and being in that acceptance energy so what can you tell us about that for the highest light love and truth well we got the magician so this is very synchronistic with this new moon energy because this is about manifestation and you have all the tools, you have all the skills, you have all the abilities within you to be the magician, to manifest your desires, um, to create, to co-create the universe. So be aware of that and watch your thoughts, watch your words, watch your actions, watch your feelings. Get into the right vibration when you manifest. Yeah, and we've got the self-esteem energy here. So what else can you tell us about that? The highest light, love and truth. Can you tell us about the self-esteem energy? Well, Ace of Hearts, love. So love yourself, you know, love yourself no matter what. Be in the energy of love, be in that energy of self-love, acceptance of who you truly are. And the more we can do that, the more we can love others as well. So stepping into your higher purpose. Yeah, we've got Page of Hearts, Innocence. So like... Maybe feeling anew, feeling refreshed, feeling like a brand new beginning, opening up to love from, from yourself and others, being in that loving energy, opening up to receive love. Maybe you've been closed off and this higher purpose is help going to awaken you and open you up more. And we've got the free spirit energy here. So what can you tell us about that for the highest light, love and truth? Wow, Ace of, Ace of Stars, Creation. So following your passion, and I was talking about that in the Pluto reading, following your passion, you know, what, what is your passion in life? What, you know, creative, you know, get creative. Um, what lights you up? What, what fires you up? What makes you motivated? What makes you want to get moving and connect into that and allow yourself to co-create and to manifest that? And we've got the awakening energy there. So what else? Yeah, we've got the path, exploration. So the chariot energy. So again, cancer energy, connecting in with your feelings, with your emotions. And exploration, exploring the path. Seeing where this will take you. Where will this awakening take you? Where will it lead? That movement forward, allowing yourself to move forward. So, yeah, some more energy. So we've got change energy coming in. So opening to change, change is coming in. So being open to change. 
and stepping into your power and we've got full moon energy now so between this this new moon and, and the next full moon you could be really stepping more into your power and that does remind me of the magician energy as well like creating rituals or magic around the power of the moon tapping into that energy co-creating with the moon and yeah being sovereign you know stepping into your power stepping into your personal power taking back your power if you've been given your power away stepping into your power trusting in yourself trusting in your own decisions and yeah release like i said that's just come onto the release again so releasing what no longer serves you releasing any pain any heartbreak any people that no longer resonate with you that are not in your energy releasing and that allows more light more of what is resonating with you to come into your life in all ways and purity that new beginning that fresh start we've got snow moon so winter time could be very significant as well for a lot of you um in the northern hemisphere when we when sometimes we have snow but that purity that new beginning and as you release maybe negative thoughts toxic patterns and behaviors you step into that purity that new you that new version of you which is very powerful yeah new beginnings again so definitely number two so for some could involve a connection with somebody else like a relationship a soulmate um but definitely new beginnings coming in and being in the energy of gratitude so we've got quite a lot of five so we can see this change is coming in and it's being open to the change so being that gratitude energy for where you're at um accepting where you're at being that gratitude energy and that will really help you as well with manifesting and surrender you know surrendering to the divine you know putting those manifestations out there setting those intentions and just surrendering and having faith and hope and truth that the what is what is for you will not pass you by and we've got the 26 so the eight energy of this year so this year all that you're manifesting should come into fruition but you have to have that faith and do do those you know be in that good self-esteem know you're worthy and know you're protected as well so your guys and angels are protecting you you could be in hermit mode some of you you could be withdrawn you could be spending time alone and know that when you do that you are heavily protected you are safe you are protected and yeah as you're doing this inner work you know it could feel like you're in the void it could feel like you're in a nowhere space you may not know where you're going forward you, you may not know where the the forward movement is but trust in the process just stay in that void just do what you need to do just do that inner work just connect with that shadow just do that healing and releasing and this is a temporary phase and you will come out of it a new version of you and we've got transformation certainty and confidence yeah so i feel you you're coming out with this energy and it's another five and you've got the sun i can't show that car because of the image um but the sun is going to come out and this is transformational energy here and you're going to come out with a new certainty and a new confidence in yourself and remembrance resurfacing of past feelings and emotions so as i said for some you you may be revisiting some past memories some traumas some heartbreaks whatever you're going through and it's a time to release and clear that so don't ignore it just accept what comes up and just do that releasing and be kind to yourself and love yourself and then let it go to allow room for the new to come in and we have guy another five wow wisdom knowledge spiritual understanding so i feel you're coming to this new understanding of self a new spiritual understanding um connecting to wisdom and knowledge that could be deep within you or you've been learning or you've been studying new things but a lot of it i feel is within you already and the sacred heart passion love spiritual communion so yeah for a lot of you i feel there is a the sacred connection coming in um a sacred love soulmate twin flame whatever you resonate as which is full of passion and love but it starts with ourselves being in that self-love energy it starts with us wow we've got abundance enjoy the bounty of life your supply is unlimited blessings are coming to you so we've got the beautiful rainbow imagery here and the beautiful unicorns so just being that energy of belief knowing you're worthy knowing you're deserving deserving because abundance means the supply is unlimited and blessings are coming to you so as you believe you receive so open up to receive these blessings and we have leadership 
step into your leadership, share your knowledge, share your message, inspire and empower others. So you could be guided to lead others or you could be leading by example, but obviously definitely be a leader in your own life and with the heart. You know, we've got the the um the green of the heart chakra. So lead from the heart, and I feel that's what a lot of you are gonna do here. And flow, find an easier path forward, surrender the outcome. Release your expectations. So we've got the green again. Well, so connect to your heart, connect your intuition, step into the flow energy, surrender to the outcome. I think we had surrender come out earlier. Release any expectation, just step into the flow of life. Just have that trust and faith, and faith like I said before. And receive. Yeah, be open to receiving goodness. Believe you're worthy of abundance. A gift is coming to you soon. Wow. So is it not confirming that? And I was saying about feeling worthy, feeling deserving. So really getting into that energy of feeling worthy, that you are deserving of all good in your life. And then opening up to receive those blessings because they're waiting to come in for you. Wow. And action. Now is the perfect time to act. Take inspired action towards your dreams. Move forward with confidence. So again, beautiful light energy coming in there. And take charge of your own life. You know, take action. This is... The new moon is about forward momentum, it's about new beginnings, it's about taking inspired action and you're being nudged to do that and to move forward with confidence and I feel a lot of you are going to be stepping into that confident energy where maybe you've struggled with that in the past. Wow. So let's get some guidance messages for you. For the highest light, love and truth, what's the guidance for this moon? What's the guidance? Well, attune to the divine, and we've got the green again of the heart chakra. So connect to your heart, you know, love yourself. Connect to that unconditional love. Yeah, honour your feelings, you know, get in touch with your feelings. As I say, if negative feelings are coming up, you know, or toxic feelings, or feelings about past people or situations, honour your feelings, feel the feelings, and then release, okay? Acknowledge it and then release it. Don't hold on to the past. Yeah, and unleash your kindest self, you know, be kind to yourself. And then obviously that will go outwards as well. As you are kind to you, you can be kind to others. Yeah, leave the past behind. So it's time to leave the past behind. As I say, do any releasing that you need to do. Let it go. Yeah, practice gratitude. We had that come out earlier. So being that gratitude energy, again, that will help you manifest your desires. It will help you realise that you are worthy, you are deserving. And release control. Yeah, don't try and control the outcome. Just surrender. We had that come through. Yeah, breathe through any tension. So maybe do some breath work, do some breath meditation. Be proud of yourself. Your guys and angels want you to be proud of you. They're proud of you. And trust the universe. Trust in the process. Wow. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave it there. So a beautiful message. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you resonate with that, please give me a thumbs up and I will see you next time. Many blessings.